A meteorologist named Friend is sent to a remote island to take over weather observations. Soon after, a group of people arrived on the island and only two remained an old weather expert and a lighthouse keeper. The island is uninhabited and the captain takes him to an old cabin for the handover of duties. However, there are no signs of life in the room and it clearly hasn't been occupied for a long time. They had to go to the lighthouse. The lighthouse has a very strange view, surrounded by strong defenses, like a fortification against monstrous creatures. The lighthouse was built by a disheveled old man who told them that the person who lived in the cabin had long died in the deep sea, possibly swept away and lost. Although the island has a strange smell, what friend wants is a quiet life far from the city. He refused the captain's offer to take him back and decided to stay on the island. But this is the beginning of his nightmare. Friend only packs his suitcase and stays in the cabin. At night, he looks at the old observer's diary, which, in addition to marking Darwin's theory of evolution as wrong, also contains a photo of a bride's dress. At that time, there was a knock on the door, and he thought it was the old lighthouse keeper who would open it. But then he found blue-clad feet protruding from behind the door. In his desperation, Friend stomped with his foot. But when he hears sounds around him, he realizes something is wrong and, out of fear, he quickly takes refuge in the basement. As Friend peeks through the crack to see what is happening, a monster suddenly appears in the crack. In fear, Friend stabs its eyes with a knife. The next morning, Friend emerges from the basement to find the room in a state of disarray and footprints outside the house. He then realizes why the lighthouse is surrounded by these thorns. He then asks for help from the lighthouse page but is refused and has no choice but to make simple defenses around Friend's house. He suggests burning wood and books, dousing them with gasoline, closing the shutter and preparing a pistol and some bullets. When night falls, the monsters reappear, but this time not just one, but thousands of them come out of the sea. And when you look through the window, they are blue-colored sea monsters. Of course, the unfinished defense is not equal to the enemy attack. And just as the doors are about to be swept away, in his desperation, Friend opens the door and burns the outside of the room, which quickly spreads. The opportunity was saved, but Friend also suffered great losses, as the only shelter on the island, the cabin, was burned to the ground. In despair, Friend decided to seek help from the lighthouse keeper again, but on the way he was attacked by a woman. In the midst of the battle, Friend picked up his shotgun on the ground and could only threaten the strange lighthouse keeper who appeared. He asked Friend to release the female monster as a reward. The lighthouse keeper would let him move to the lighthouse, and Friend offered him cigarettes and wine. The lighthouse keeper then told the story of the remote island. It turns out that because of its very remote location from human world, and because it's been uninhabited for a long time, there is no creature here that has evolved. Humans have taken over the area as colonizers. The monsters attack them just to defend their territory, and the woman is a slave in the lighthouse. The woman is afraid of the lighthouse keeper, who always does violence to her, and they have an even stranger relationship. Because every normal man has normal physiological needs, and the lighthouse keeper secretly uses it for his desires. Friend thought that maybe the lighthouse keeper had been living here for too long and felt lonely, so he accepted him. Every night, Thousands of sea monsters come to land to take the lighthouse. Friend and the lighthouse keeper fought side by side to repel the attack. And in the morning, the creatures would jump into the sea and disappear from the island. Only during the day did they rest for a moment. For the rest of his life, Friend had to go through daily struggles with the people, and he began to miss returning to the normal world. Friend spent his days scavenging useful items, with the remains of the items always behind him. At first, he sympathized with the female monster, but slowly Friend developed feelings for her and they got along very well. One day, Friend accidentally sees the woman playing in the water and, because he cannot suppress his long repressed desires, he takes off his coat and engages in intimacy with her which is seen by the possessive lighthouse keeper. The lighthouse keeper immediately approaches friend. As the woman witnesses the countless deaths of her friends every day, she feels oppressed and angry, but she does not dare to fight back. Friend sees what she's thinking and finds a boat made of bones to comfort her. When the woman sees its appearance, she immediately takes him to a secret place on the island. A small boat is hidden. When friend returns, he immediately asks the lighthouse keeper where the boat came from. The lighthouse keeper tells him that it is a ship that smuggled explosive materials. When they passed here, they were killed and left behind. It's time for the monsters to rest and run out of ammunition. They decided to look for the leftover explosives at the bottom of the island, and the lighthouse keeper planned to come here and kill friend. Friend jumps down and finds boxes of dynamite which he helps connect to the lighthouse keeper. When all the explosives are pulled up to the ship, Friend, who has heavy diving gear on the ship, falls into the water because he is physically exhausted. The lighthouse keeper does not intend to help this time.
After seeing the sea, this time, he wants to destroy the sea monsters and become the true ruler of the island. But for days, the monsters do not appear. The lighthouse officials, who are angry, blame the woman for all of this. It is suspected that she brought the news to her people. That night, the lighthouse officials open the gate and force the woman to shout. Soon after, countless monsters arrive at the lighthouse and renew their attack. Explosive materials, which have been connected to the lighthouse, explode instantly killing countless sea monsters. While the female monster takes the opportunity to escape back to her group. The next night, Fren continues to prepare for battle with the lighthouse officials. But throughout the night, the monsters do not appear. The next day, Fren is shocked to find so many of them in the sea. But this time they do not attack. They are mourning for the monsters who died on the shore. Fren feels very guilty. He sets up a tombstone on the beach with a small boat made of bones in the middle. Then, by chance, he finds out that the meteorologist is not dead at all. The old meteorologist in the photo is now an old lighthouse official. Maybe the previous lighthouse official who has passed away. In the afternoon, Fren comes to the beach with his horn, attracting the attention of a child monster. Then more monsters appear on the beach. The woman who had been enslaved is the leader of these creatures. So it's not surprising that every time the woman lighthouse is used as bait, the members of the clan will rush in without thinking twice. Now the monsters have no intention of attacking friend, because they also feel his kindness. And the lighthouse man suddenly appears and raises his weapon towards them. Friend wants the lighthouse man to stop killing these creatures. But the lighthouse man will not allow the woman who he has always enslaved to betray him now. Hatred and possessive attitude immediately engulfs his mind and he kills the child monster. And all the monsters are very angry. Friend rushes into the lighthouse and fights with him, while the angry monsters surround him. Now, the lighthouse man knows that he will not be able to avoid this, so he jumps from the lighthouse and is eaten by the monsters. After a very long time, a new captain arrives on the island with a new meteorological crew, who comes to meet Friend. Friend is now a messy and strange looking lighthouse man, just like the previous lighthouse man. When the new captain asks the weather expert where the man in the cabin went, the answer remains the same that the man in the cabin has died. After the death of the old lighthouse man, the female monster goes and never attacks again, and Friend decides to stay on the island to protect the place. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe, because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. What movie do you want next? Just comment below, have a nice day.